Hi guys. Future is not what follows the present. Future is a, continu a continuation of the present. Yesterday, today, tomorrow are continuations in the present is what we call time. For many of us, it's the time of, of our life. How successful are we going to be tomorrow? It depends more of what we have been doing and what are we doing now. Last year, I prevent many of you about uh, the crisis we, are, we were going to face in the year 2020, and I did it since March. For the year 2021, we can expect the continuation of the year 2020's old problems. Um, high chances are that the history repeats again. The link about what I said last year is down below. I recommend you to watch that video too. The question is, will your electronics workshop resist another lockdown? Probably we have to face the same problem again, plus uh, the economy could be worse this year. And that's a serious situation. I recommend you to make some changes. In that case, is what we call adaptability. For the year 2021, avoid to, to pay in rent for expensive commercial locations, uh, for facilities that you uh, will be allowed to you. Uh, what I mean is, has no sense to pay for something to keep the business close. In that case, try to do not increase your inventory it's better if you can move and to work from home if we're talking about electronics repairings and make a web page that's a good idea to have a business online work with companies with courier with a delivery um, Maybe one of you will say, Bob, uh, sounds good, but here in my little town, we don't have a delivery company. Okay, speak with a taxi driver, uh, somebody you will trust. In that way, you can be in a lockdown, working in your business without going out, and your client in their house, probably, but you will get the product back and forth to send to fix and to send back already repaired. So keep that in mind. Let's see what do I have here in my notes. Um, probably for the year 2021, I don't mean this year, but I mean start, starting this year, we are going to have a reduction in the cash currency. And that's a tendency. What is going to be in dominion is the electronic money. In that case, you need to receive credit cards, be able to get pay, to pay yourself, to make pays online. Why not think about something like PayPal? Because you cannot let in time of crisis your client to go away with their money to somebody else. You need to, to make those business one way or the other. Also make an enforce to to get the equipment you need. In time of crisis, it's better sometimes to have the right tool on hand to produce than to have money. In this case, I recommend you get the equipment you need because the expectancy is, will be a delay in the delivering, probably will be a tax increment in your country, and also many countries will get inflation. That means with the money you used to, you, you, you are planning to buy something, next month you cannot buy it because nothing, because the price increases, because your currency, your money in your country went down. So that's the reason I said 
try to do it since now. Okay. Um, a good advice will be, I'm checking here my notes about the logos and brands. Guys, do not use logos. Do not use brands if you are not an authorized service for electronics repairing for it. And maybe it sounds crazy to you, but it's like to work in the business with a computer without a, a software license. You don't want to waste uh, your enforce. You don't need to spend your money defending from big brands, uh, sharp uh, lawyers in a big demand. That's, that's not the way to work. So avoid that in all the sense of the word. Um, the next one will be, remember, okay, what I said now, remember man, the first function for a manager, for the one who is starting a business is to avoid a demand. Yes, as I said, the first fu function for a manager who is starting a business is to avoid a demand. The second function is to produce. That's the reason I gave you the recommendation. Avoid problems with the software license. Avoid problems using logos. Pay attention to the ones who are repairing smartphones and tablets. Logos and brands if you are not authorized. Try to ensure your business in all the sense of the word. For fire, for vandalism, uh, for earthquakes, uh, floodings, all kinds of problems. Think about it. Other one will be the consumables. Get the consumables six months in advance. It's no time to be out of ribbon, ink, uh, flux, solder, and risk for a lockdown or something like that. And you can know get anything to work this week it's a high risk it's no time to to make mistakes be aware of the market tendencies uh, once again for the ones with the smartphones business you guys like to work with the mine brands but also pay attention that the out of the traditional mine brands many chinese companies are offering a good product and that product is expanding in the market and is uh, getting a high volume of sellings. In the same way, so we'll get a high volume of repairing demand too. So think about it and try to think out of the box. Uh, last advice will be to di diversify the service. Uh, if you repair smartphones, to keep going with that idea as example, do not spend too much money in accessories to for sale. You better spend more money in your knowledge, in learning, seminars, webinars. Try to get more knowledge as you can. The best tool, the best uh, resource is your brain and you will need it in time of crisis. My good advice will be the ones who are specialized Try to get knowledge in general electronics. If you are able to repair in general ele electronics, you are expanding your business a lot. It's not the same thing to sit until somebody comes with a broken telephone to fix than when you are open to receive anything that comes to be fixed. I guarantee you the client will bring you five things, not only one telephone. Okay, that will expand your business potential. Remember guys, adversity uh, will become in one advantage if you have a plan and if you are prepared. In that case, changing will hit only the ones who refuse to change. You got it? Adversity will be good if you have a plan and if you are prepared, changing hits the one who refused to change. For the ones able to prepare and to make a plan, changing means only an opportunity to go ahead in life. 
if your life is not changing too much in time of crisis, if you make a plan, it's the moment, it's the whistle in the start line for you to go ahead and take the advantage. Got it? So for crisis is for people to fail and crisis is for others to succeed. It depends. How is your glass of water? Is it full, uh, half empty or is half full? How do you see it? In my opinion, when there is crisis like this, there is always a big chance if you pay attention to what you are doing and you make a plan for it. So I left you guys down below the link about uh, what to do for the electronics workshops in case of crisis or economical recession. If you didn't watch it, I recommend you strongly to do it. If you already watched it, I recommend you to make a review again. Thanks guys by watching the video. I hope you like it. Do not forget to give a like and we will see you soon to show more videos about learning electronics and why not how to manage the electronics workshop too. See you next time.